These are the impossible things only Lionel Messi did in football. And what better way to start off than when he traveled to the past? England versus Argentina, the 1986 World Cup quarterfinals. And you know how Argentina took the lead that day. Yeah, man, all legit. It was the hand of God. That goal went for the history books. But what he did next made him a legend. It's called the goal of the century for a reason, a one in a million, or it was. Because in 2007, a 19-year-old boy decided Maradona was remembered long enough. Assistencia de Xavi, Messi, 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 Dude, I shouldn't have partied so much last night because I'm seeing double. It's like someone took Maradona's goal and just improved the video quality. Just look at this. Both of them picked up the ball around the halfway line, left every innocent soul that came before them for dead, and scored. They even attacked the same side of the pitch. The goal of the century 2.0. 19 years old and already putting defenders on their asses. But this was just the beginning, because two years later, Messi decided to leap for the stars. It's the 2009 Champions League final, and Barcelona came up against Manchester United. Samuel Eto'o opened the scoring for the Blaugrana, but Messi wasn't going to let him make the headlines. So in the 70th minute, he took flight. A boarding pass for Air Messi, anyone? Dude, that was so crazy. Even Ferdinand came on to say, the 2009 match in Rome, it was one of the most embarrassing nights of my life. He's the best player I've played against. Let me break it down for you. Leo is 170 centimeters tall, but he jumped almost as high as the crossbar. That's 244 centimeters high. But what's even crazier is the height of the jump in relation to his size. Leo's head was 69 centimeters above his normal height. That's an insane vertical. No wonder he lost his boot in the celebration, but I'm just glad he did. Kissing your own boot is a new level of humiliation. And one time, he humiliated a dude so bad, his career got turned into memes. 2015 Champions League semi-final. Barcelona were facing Bayern Munich. And right before the first leg, Neuer decided it was a good time to play with fire. It's crucial to show authority when we meet on the pitch and show him who's boss. Uh, yeah, I really want to see this one. 77th minute. And... Nah, nah, he was just playing. He wasn't done just yet, because just a couple minutes later, he had the ball at his feet and decided to end careers. Messi, chop, chop, Messi! Dude looked like he was struck down by lightning. Messi dropped his shoulder, Boateng, and people's jaws all in one move. Guess now we know who the real boss is. But I feel bad for Jerome, man. Being humiliated like that, at least he kept it cool. Anyways. Leo didn't need his teammates to run past those defenders. But sometimes, hey man, I thought referees were supposed to be neutral. Leo's been dropping defenders for years. Dude, that had everything. Nutmegs, body feints, and players on the ground. Hey, remember James Milner? But Milner was running at Messi at full speed. Leo once stole a player's nuts while he just stood there. Pfft, that's just embarrassing, man. But what about stunning even your opponents? You try explaining that to someone who doesn't watch football and watch them lose their head. And speaking of tricks, man, I could barely find the net once and dudes out here scoring two goals with just one shot? But Leo isn't just about goals. The man is so good, he doesn't even need both shoes to do it. This guy's a magician. And one time, he did something proven scientifically impossible. In the 2015 Copa del Rey final, Barcelona faced off against Athletic Bilbao. 20 minutes in, Messi was with the ball at the halfway line, and then he started running. There's a rumor Bilbao players still have nightmares. He burst into life as soon as he got the ball and ran at the defenders at 31.38 kilometers an hour. And he took only 2.73 seconds to reach that speed. Then, just three touches and a total of 1.2 seconds to ghost past three defenders. And when he finally reached the box, he struck the ball with all he had and it flew towards the goal at 77.24 kilometers an hour. And to top it all off, Leo had less than 15 centimeters to aim for because the keeper had everything else covered. But it gets even crazier. The whole move covered nearly 60 yards and happened in a shocking 11.4 seconds. And the ball was 60 centimeters away from Messi for barely two seconds. Precision, power, and skill. The most complete goal of all time. Leo always shows up in cup competitions, but he has a thing for the Champions League. He gets a motivation boost every time he hears that anthem, man. So it was the perfect place to set a new goal-scoring record.
Barcelona came up against Liverpool in the semi-finals in 2019. Barca started the game strong and Liverpool had no response. They struggled. Man, they really didn't show up at all. So they were trying to keep the embarrassment to the minimum. And that's when Fabinho made a huge mistake. He didn't click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't be like Fabinho, man. Click it. And then... Man, that was just sick. Everyone went crazy. Just look at these guys. And that goal was a record breaker for Messi. It was his 600th goal for the club. 600! He's unstoppable, man. I mean, this guy scored a record 91 goals in a calendar year. But in the 2018 World Cup, he just quit being human. Dude, that's just supernatural. Three touches, that's all he needed. And that control with his thigh while going at full speed? Ridiculous. Maradona lost it, man. Dude legit thought he was in Wakanda. Some say Leo's the next Maradona. But let me tell you, the worst thing for Messi was to be labeled as the next anyone. So one time, he let everyone know that Lionel is just the first Messi. 2007, El Clasico. Barcelona were struggling after suffering two recent league defeats and giving up their Champions League crown in a loss to Liverpool. So they needed something special. Ronaldinho? Nah, he didn't show up. And that's when the world met Lionel Messi. Real took the lead three times and were even a man up. But every time they scored, the wonder kid replied with a goal of his own. His first ever career hat trick, and it came while destroying his biggest rivals. But that wasn't peak Messi, because one time, he made every jaw drop to the floor in Madrid. In 2011, Barca didn't just face Real in La Liga. They were also pitted together in the Champions League semifinals. And the first leg quickly became the Messi show. He gave Barca the lead in the 76th minute. You could see Madrid fans in the stadium holding their breath because of how scared they were, man. And what Leo did next had Wembley on the edge of their seats. This time, Pep is the boss. But here's Messi. Away from two, three, four, one. Listen, man, they can't touch him. They can't get near him. One, two, three, four. He's just making them look like chumps. Leo sure loves toying with Madrid, man. And in 2017, he arrived at the capital and turned it into his playground. The setting, the rivalry, no mercy. Two teams with players that would bleed like warriors. Real took the lead, but Barca turned it around. And after an intense battle, Madrid equalized in the 85th minute, and the score was locked at 2-2. People even began leaving the stadium thinking the match would end in a draw. But in the 92nd minute... We're outside him. Here is Jordi Alba. Leo Messi! Oh! He's done it! Leo Messi, with what could be the last kick of the game, buries it into the back of the net. It's hard to... Dude, I just have one word for that. Legend! Do you know that feeling of being broken down to pieces? He just murdered them with that celebration. That's cold, man. 